going on YouTubers? So first of all, I just want to introduce myself and talk about what this channel is going to be about. So my name is Tony, I'm currently 19 years old and a college student and aspiring IFBB Pro Physique Competitor. So I'm three months out from my first physique competition which is going to be the St. Pete Muscle Classic on September 13th and today is June 8th. This week is the uh, first week of the 14 week prep that I'm going to be going on for this show. And this first week, I'm going to be trying to find how many calories I can uh, consume or have to consume to sustain the weight that I'm currently at. And I am about 181 pounds, 5859. Through this channel, I'm going to be vlogging my journey of going pro and, you know, just showing you guys what, um, what it's like to live in Florida a little bit, even though I don't do too many crazy things. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I get to inspire some of you guys to just go after your dreams through this channel and stay tuned. Just finished class like two hours ago and I got I went home and had uh, two whole eggs with two servings of egg whites along with one um, onion bagel and I'm gonna show you guys what I've prepared and what I'm going to eat right now. So I've got three servings of pasta with one serving of meatballs and one serving of tomato sauce. And I'm actually going to show you guys what I've, well, how I've been uh, keeping track of my macros lately. So right here we got my first week, well, this week right here currently. And on Saturday I weighed myself. I was about 181 pounds. And this is what I've been eating for breakfast. This day I've actually under ate. And this was yesterday's. I was consuming approximately 2,600 calories yesterday. Alright guys, so we're at the uh, neighborhood Walmart and currently in Florida it is raining like crazy. I think I'm going to uh, wait until this die dies down a little bit because I don't feel like getting wet. But um, yeah, I'm going to go in there pretty soon, hopefully, <laughs> and stock up on some vegetable oil or Pam uh, for cooking. Good morning. So it's Wednesday, June 11th, and I just made my first meal, and I'm going to show you guys what I have. So right here we got two whole eggs with three servings of egg whites, two servings of potatoes, about 296 grams, and then one banana and one cup of black coffee. I don't typically drink black coffee, but I'm just going to give it a try today. Today is the first day back in the gym. Since Saturday, um, I decided to give my body a couple days, well, a few days of rest, and it wasn't a clean bulk either but I didn't gain too much fat in the process, so pretty thankful for that. All right, ladies and gents, so I just made my pre-workout meal, and I'm gonna show you guys what I made. All right, so right here we have a uh, one cup of uh, rice with one serving of sweet potato, along with a six ounce chicken breast and some spinach, half a serving of spinach to be exact. Um, today we're gonna be doing legs, so just uh, check out my leg workouts, and I'm going to be talking over the uh, the video a little bit, so, yep. Alright guys, so right here, I am doing leg presses, and I do four sets of this exercise. The, the reps are 10, 10, 8, and 8. And it's important to note that I'm pushing off with my heels, and my toes are pointed slightly outwards. Also, I am not locking out at the end of my rep, even though it looks like it, but I should have, shouldn't have worn black this day to uh, to demonstrate better, but um, this will prevent any knee injuries. And this is my last set. So I do two sets with this weight right here. And then right now, as you can see, uh, I'm doing straight leg deadlifts. And I do four sets of ten with this exercise. It's important to note that the scapula is retracted and I'm not arching my back, like not rounding my back, sorry. This will prevent any lower back injuries. I don't like to go too heavy on this exercise because I don't want to put too much pressure on my lower back. Again, my knees, I'm 
sorry, my toes are pointed slightly outwards. This is a great hamstring workout. It's actually my favorite hamstring workout. Again, this is four sets at ten. And then right here we have the front squats. I do three sets of ten on, on this workout. And this is my favorite quad exercise. I love wearing spandex on leg days because it helps me keep my legs warm. And I feel like it helps me get through the leg days. Again, my toes are pointed slightly outwards and I'm sitting on my heels on the way down. And then right here we have the reverse lunges. I do three sets of ten on these. This is a great cardiovascular exercise as well. So we do ten on each leg for one set. And right here, next we have a superset, which consists of the leg extension and the leg curls. So this is going to be three sets of eight. Um, after completing this, I go straight to the leg curls in a moment. And the superset consists of both of those um, exercises. So it's pretty much a kind of like a circuit training. And note that I'm holding the contraction at the top. You want to control the eccentric portion of the movement. And then right here we have the uh, bench sprints for the last exercise. And this is only one set. This is a burnout. Sorry if you hear my uh, cameraman breathing hard because he's actually got done doing these before I did. It's a great cardiovascular ex exercise as well. But as I, as I was saying though, the eccentric motion of the exercise is actually where you make the, like the most gains during the lift. And then right here we have the calf races. I do three sets of 20. I do 10 reps with feet wide apart and then uh, 10 with the feet closer apart. And no, you can do you can do these with any platform and I like I like to hang my toes off to get the full range of motion as you can see right here. Feeling the burn right now. Now we're gonna do some a little, a couple little stretches and uh, use uh, this uh, foam roller right now. All right, guys. So uh, I'm gonna do a couple poses to uh, show you guys what my physique looks like right now. And I'm a little fluffy because <laughs> I just got off a bulk, but I didn't gain too much fat off of it. Um, I gained approximately 17 pounds since uh, February, and today is June 11th, at Wednesday. What's going on ladies and gents? So today is June 12th, Thursday. Today we're doing chest, back, and abs. So check it out. Alright guys, so right here we have the incline 
barbell press, and I do four sets of this. The reps being 10, 8, 6, 6. And this is my first set for 10. When you bench, you should, uh, you shouldn't arch your back, but the way you sit, you want to have your scapula into the, the bench to help with uh, activating your, your back muscles. And right here we're going for eight reps. This is my second set. On this particular day, I didn't feel, um, I didn't have too great of a workout. As you can see, we hit this 205, and I can normally I normally get this pretty easily for six, and I this is for uh, my last two sets, 205. And right here we have the T-bar row, and I do four sets of this exercise. The reps being 10, 8, 6, 6. And the scapula should be retracted when you do these. And you should try to keep neutral spine alignment when you do any of the, any exercises that involve using the back muscles. And right here we have uh, my second set for eight. My last two sets are here. Six. When you do these, it's important to distribute your weight towards your heels so, so to help keep balance. And then right here we have the decline press for four sets of ten. I normally go heavier than this, but I didn't have a spot. Again, this is four sets of ten. Next, we have the reverse T-bar rows, and this is with the supinated grip, palms facing outwards, and this is for four sets of ten. And then lastly, we have the tri-set, which include the incline chest flies exercise, the single arm dumbbell rows, and the dumbbell shrugs for two sets of 12. So one set includes all three exercises and each one doing 12 reps. Here we have the single arm dumbbell rows for 12. You want to try and contract your scapula right here, as you can see. You don't want to swing the dumbbells either. You want to try and control the movement, range, uh, control the range of motion. Sorry. And then this is the dumbbell shrugs or. And as you can see, I'm holding at the top of the shrug. It's best to go lighter with better form than with heavy weight and swinging it. And right here we have the ab wipers for four sets of 10, on um, 10 reps for, well, it's 20 if you include both sides, so 10 reps for each ab, well, for each side, sorry, right and left. And actually, at the, at the end of this uh, set right here, my lower abs started cramping up, so I had to stop early.
I haven't done abs in a long time, so they're kind of out of shape, I'm not going to lie. And then right here we have the de decline weighted ab twists for four sets of ten. Again, uh, each side for ten. So I guess you could say 20 reps. Four sets. Breathing is important when doing abs as you um, as it helps the contraction and emphasize on the, the tension of the core muscles. And then here we have the cable crunches for four sets of 12. And it's important to note that on the eccentric portion, which is me going up right about here, that I'm not letting go. I'm still controlling the movement and the range of motion. And these, when you crunch down, you want to crunch towards your knees, not the floor. And this is four sets of 12. So we just got done with a uh, two and a half hour chest, back, and abs workout. And I'm about to get my post um, nutrition in. And I'm going to show you guys what I uh, have. So right here we have some whey. I'm going to take a scoop in my shaker and mix that. And then over here we got six ounce piece of chicken, two cups of rice, two servings of sweet potato and some spinach, uh, half a serving of spinach to be exact. Good morning ladies and gents, so today is Saturday and uh, still the first week of the 14 week contest prep and I'm on a bridge right now. I'm about to uh, do some sprints over up this right here. And I'm going to show you guys what the uh, water looks like right now. Tampa Bay. Unfortunately, I don't have a, uh, a workout my workout partner to record this, so I'm just gonna um, do it by myself, and I have my parachute with me. My parachute right there. So I'm gonna do probably a half hour of sprints. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Alright y'all, so we just got done with uh, half hour sprints. And I am dead. It's my first time doing sprints up a bridge. With a parachute attached. And, and I wish I could have recorded it, but uh, I'm going to try to get some more uh, some footage of it next time when my workout partner can come. Unfortunately, I was, wasn't uh, in good of his shape as I uh, wish I would have been. And I only got 25 minutes in. But uh, 25 minutes is better than none so <sighs> kind of exhausted so I'm gonna go home and uh, make some uh, food and I'll check back with you guys when I get home all right you guys I just got back from uh, doing sprints and I'm gonna show you guys what I made and what I'm about to eat so right here we have two whole eggs with three servings of egg whites one onion bagel and one serving of um, some Quaker Oats oatmeal with one scoop away. I'm going to take my creatine and my multivitamin with this. So uh, that's what I'm going to take right now. And again, I'm playing with my macros for this week to see how many calories I need to consume to keep the weight I'm at and gradually lower the um, carbs and calories to start losing weight and I want to talk about creatine. I'm finishing up my cycle on Monday and I usually go on a four week on and two week off um, of creatine. So this Monday I'm off of it for two weeks and I don't know, I'm not, I haven't thought about going back on it um, for this cut because uh, I'm, I'm not going to be lifting too heavy even though I'm going to be lifting heavy as as possible, as much as possible, due to the fact that I want to retain as much strength during this cut 
And uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in with me, and hopefully next week I can get some footage of me doing sprints up the bridge with the parachute attached. And thanks again, guys.